This is a number of the tools that I use to make the textures and it's interesting to compare the tool itself to the results in the clay which is at the moment in the biscuit fired stage about to be glazed. And here is what is, I think they were draw handles actually, we got hold of once. And these when pressed into the raw clay make an image which will then receive the glaze, it'll run into that space and make a kind of contrast between the surface which is a green slip and the deeper mark made by the press tool. This is a, a lovely African necklace which when pressed into the raw clay produced again this lovely uneven kind of almost like ploughed field texture. And a recognisable tool, golf tee, pressed into the clay made this lady's spotted dress. This is a very interesting tool. I think it's designed by a glue manufacturer, Evo Stick, to, to make marks, to make sticking easier. But I love using it to get sweeping marks into the clay. And then of course I've put white on top, white slip, which will, when it's glazed, you can see a good example here, have more of this quality. So raw clay plus that mark, glazed can start getting this very free form background because some of this is quite detailed and it's nice to have the more, if you like, abstract, free background. And this is a special tool where I've obviously made it so that when you roll it along the clay you get this recessed pattern as in bricks and I'll be able to just wipe glaze off it and it'll give a lovely rich quality.